Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Brittany. Welcome if you guys are new. Welcome back if you are returning. So in this video, I'm going to be doing like a walkthrough on the steps I did to achieve this look. So after I apply the nails, I always go in and just add some extra glue over where the fake nail and the natural nail meet just for like extra security. So now I'm moving on to my next hand a drop of glue I normally hold the nail tip down for about five seconds when I apply a little pressure to it and then I'm going back over it with the nail glue so off camera I removed the natural shine from my nail using my nail drill so that's the first step that you want to do is you want to go over your natural nail with either a nail drill or hand file your natural nails. I always line them up as I go, make sure they are cut evenly. Okay, so I'm going over the fake nail and my natural nail with my nail drill to make the to make it look more smooth. So when I lay the acrylic, it won't look lumpy. So I always do this um, just so the the acrylic can lay nicely so now I'm hand filing my nails just trying to make sure they're extra flat so I'm just going over with a 100 100 nail file from young nails and I'm basically just going back and forth over my natural nail and the fake nail to blend them basically I'm just blending the nails also filing the tips of the nails to make sure they're straight. So you just want to dust all that excess dust off. And I'm just using this cheap duster. I think it's like a makeup brush. Honestly, I got it from the dollar store. Then you want to go in with your primer. The one that I use and that I love and that I highly recommend is the OPI Bond X. And this is from Amazon as well. Now, I took a nail class a few um, a few months ago, and they taught me to prime the nail, like prime one hand at a time, basically. So that's the method that I use. The acrylic powders that I'm using is um, Mia Secret in the color orange and I got this glitter acrylic from my local beauty supply store I'm not really sure what the brand name is but I'll leave it down in the description and I'm also using the Mia Secret monomer The nail brush that I'm using is from Amazon as well. I will make sure to leave that linked in the description because I absolutely love this nail brush and it is in a size 14. And I've been using this nail brush for about maybe four months now and I haven't had any problems with acrylic getting stuck in it or nothing. Like this brush is the best brush ever. 
and it's definitely worth the money i think it was maybe about 30 dollars, but i love this brush honestly i would definitely recommend this brush to anybody who's looking for a new acrylic brush definitely check this one out and i got it from amazon and it didn't take that long to come either maybe about a week if that and once again this is in a size 14 so now i'm just applying the acrylic you definitely blending as i'm um as i'm applying it definitely want to keep wiping your brush don't want the acrylic to get stuck in there and with the color acrylic it's it's so easy to use you're pretty much just painting it on honestly that's my best way to describe it make sure you want to wipe the sides of the nails to keep the shape and i'm doing an ombre so i'm only doing the tips you want to start towards the middle or the end of the nail Wipe the sides and brush down. So drop the bead, pat it, and then start stroking it. Wipe the sides and get another bead. Drop the bead. Okay, so the beige that I'm using is a Mia Secret Cover Beige. And this is from Amazon as well. So the key to ombre is you definitely want to stroke and be very lightly when you place these beads. You know, you want to place the bead right on top of that color bead. Just right on top and then just lightly stroke it down but as you're stroking it down just blend it and don't forget to wipe those sides and wipe around that cuticle i think of it as the monomer is like the little eraser if you have too much like liquid you know or too much acrylic or too much product in the cuticle areas clean your brush dip it in a monomer and just wipe around your sides and that's what they're looking like okay so drop the bead stroke As y'all can see, I forgot to apply the primer. So you definitely, if you're doing the one hand at a time, definitely, definitely, definitely don't forget to apply primer to the other hand. But thankfully, since I was doing ombre, I was still able to go ahead and add that primer. And just because I started at the tip of the nail, I'm still able to go ahead and add that primer in. So don't want to forget your primers that prevents your nails from lifting so 
So I'm going to go ahead and add the new dish page. Drop that bead and stroke it down very lightly. Wipe the sides. Start blending. Grab a bead and drop it, drag it, wipe the brush, wipe around the sides, and then blend. Okay, so that's what they look like. Now I'm going to go ahead and go in with my acrylic top coat. For the top coat, I'm using Young Nails in a cover pink with Mia Secret Monomer. So this is what they look like with the top coat on. Now I'm going to go ahead and use my nail file to file around the sides. I'm using a 100-100 nail file from Young Nails. And the key to filing the nails is you want to um, definitely get them straight for one. But two, you also want to make sure that if there's any acrylic on the skin, you want to file that away. So you want to like pull back the skin to see, like look on each side of the nail. And you kind of see me right here, like using my nail to pull down my skin to file away any acrylic that may have gotten on my skin. You definitely want to do that because if you leave that on there, that can cause lifting or just, it just don't look right. So you definitely want to make sure that you remove that and the easiest way to do it is with a nail file so you also see me blending with my nail file as well okay so now i'm blending the acrylic with my nail file i'm just going over it like a buffer so i'm replacing what the um electric gel would do i'm just doing it with my nail file but for some reason i like using the nail file more because it gives you more control in certain areas of the nail and with me it just looks a whole lot better So y'all saw me pull down that skin to get that acrylic, so just filing it away. And you want to go to like a, a angle too, especially when you're doing coffin shape or stiletto shape, follow the angle of the nail. I'm dusting off the excess dust. I'm going to buff my nails real quick. Make sure they're nice and smooth. Make sure there's no lumps, clumps, nothing. I'm spraying them with rubbing alcohol to remove the excess dust. So to apply my rhinestones, I'm using the Mia Secret Gel Resin from Amazon. My dapping tool is from the dollar store. The rhinestones or the little gems are from Amazon as well. 
and the little container that they're in are from the dollar store i'm also using the mid secret gel resin activator to spray the nails after i apply the rhinestones So I'm using these um, like butterfly water tattoos from Amazon and pretty much all you have to do is dip them in water and peel them off and then you're pretty much just going to place them on the nail wherever you want it to go and then you hold it down with water and then when you add your top coat and you cure it that's what's going to prevent it from messing up so that's all you need is just some water and some little tweezers to place it where you want it to go exactly. And then you just add water to seal it. But when doing this, you definitely want to apply a top coat over it. If you guys haven't already, make sure that you like this video, subscribe to the channel. If you are new, I am doing a giveaway at 200 subscribers, so check out the details below if you guys want to enter. I do appreciate everybody for watching this video, liking this video, and leaving comments. It definitely means a lot to me. So, if you found this video helpful... Let me know. So for the top coats, I'm using Top It Off Beetles from Amazon. And after I apply the top coats, I'm going to cure my nails for 90 seconds. And this is the final product. Thank you guys once again for watching. And I will see everyone in my next video.